What's going on everyone? This is Jay Patel and in this video we will be understanding what is TensorFlow and what is Keras and the difference between the two. TensorFlow is an open source machine learning library which is used for building large scale applications in machine learning and deep learning. It was developed by Google and it is written in C++. It is most widely used framework that is used for artificial intelligence and deep learning. Whereas the Keras is also an open source library, but it is a higher level API than TensorFlow. And Keras is written in Python. The way TensorFlow works is by creating a computational graph and then it is later on executed by passing the input values. This means that first we build a graph, a computational graph, and then we pass some input, which is a multidimensional vectors. These multidimensional vectors are also called as tensors. These tensors then flow through the computational graph to give us the proper output. That is why the name is TensorFlow. Whereas the Keras is a higher level API which can be run on top of TensorFlow. As it is a higher level API, writing program in Keras is extremely simple and very easy. Whereas writing the program in TensorFlow is bit complicated, but it is much easier than writing program from scratch. This was about just a small introduction about Keras and TensorFlow. Now let's look at the differences between the two. But before we look into the differences, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then hit the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified every week when I upload new machine learning video. The first difference between Keras and TensorFlow is that as Keras is a higher level API, writing code in Keras is extremely easy and to create an entire model will only require a handful number of lines. Whereas writing code in TensorFlow is a bit challenging and it is not that easy for beginners. Training the model is slower in Keras whereas training the model is fast in TensorFlow because the TensorFlow is a lightweight framework whereas Keras is heavy and higher level API. As writing code in Keras is extremely easy, it is mostly used for rapid prototyping. We can quickly build a model, test the performance and make any design changes as we require. Whereas TensorFlow is mainly used for bigger and higher level applications. It is also possible to quickly design the architecture in the Keras and once we finalize the architecture, we can implement the same in the TensorFlow to create full-fledged application with bigger data and to get the faster performance. There is lesser need to debug in Keras as everything is pretty simple here. Debugging is a bit difficult in TensorFlow. Keras is mostly used for small dataset, whereas TensorFlow can be used for larger dataset. Keras have a bit smaller community support, whereas TensorFlow has the biggest community support. So these were some differences between the Keras and the TensorFlow. Now I have already made a video on why to use TensorFlow. You might want to check that video out as well. You will find that video somewhere in the left or right side of this video. I've also created a complete convolutional neural network playlist where I have provided details of the mathematics behind CNN. And in the next video, I'm going to implement the CNN and create a small application of image classification using Keras. So I hope to see you in the next video. And up till then, keep riding on this lane of machine learning.